Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the co-creator feature that's included with the Windows Paint app for Windows 11. So right now it's kind of rolling out, so if you're on the Insider channel you might have it. If you're on the Retail you probably don't, unless you're watching this in the future then you probably do. So when you open Paint, if you don't have this co-creator section you don't have it yet. And if you do, how it works, it's kind of like the Bing text to image app you could do on their website. So you just click on the co-creator, type in what you want to see. So let's say, let's do dog surfing while wearing a top hat, and then you could pick your style. Uh, let's go for the anime for fun here. Now click on create. So you get 50 credits. I'm not sure when it renews or how it's going to renew. It might be a Microsoft 365 thing to get more credits. I'm not sure yet, but I haven't used them all, so I couldn't tell you. Okay, so it gives you some samples here that you could pick from, and if you want to use one, just simply click on it to have it added to your paint window here, and then you could start editing it like you can any other image. Of course, uh, Microsoft Paint is not the greatest uh, photo editor, but you could do some cool things. And other new options for paint are the background remover and the layers. So you could actually make different layers kind of like you can in Photoshop. And if you try the background remover, you could do so like this, see how it works. That's not too bad for it being a complicated background. If it were more of a solid background, uh, then it would probably do a better job. And then if you add a new layer, you can see your layers here. So add a new layer. Now we have this one on this layer, this one on this layer, but they're overlapping. So we could uh, hide and show the layers as needed. Okay, so let's add a new layer here. and Let's try a different style. Let's go for digital art. Okay, so here's our samples here, and then we can just pick whatever we like. It's a little different style here. So let's uh, block this one off here, do a new layer. Let's try pixel art. Okay, here's our samples here. Kind of interesting. All right, so let's try something else here. Let's hide this one. So a clown jumping off a burning building holding a fire extinguisher. And let's go for an oil painting. All right, so it looks like we have some content warning here. Not sure which uh, word is bad. Maybe it doesn't like burning building, or let's just say building. No, can't do that one either. Maybe it doesn't like jumping off a building. Okay, clown jumping a bike over a burning car holding a fire extinguisher. Let's see what that does. Okay, so I guess it didn't like jumping off a building. So here's our sample here. There we go. That one's okay, it did a little better job than the other ones. So let's try one more here. Let's do a ink sketch. All right, that's a little interesting there. Okay. All right, robot holding a guitar while standing on a dining room table. Okay, let's get rid of this here. Let's do this one as watercolor. Now we'll do photorealistic first. All right, that one's pretty good, actually. All right, so one more style here, and we'll try the watercolor. Okay, that's pretty good, too. Not standing on top of the table, but the uh, artwork came out pretty good. So, as you can see, you get a lot of options here, and then, of course, you could edit it within Paint, or you can you know, save this as an image file and edit it in some other program if you want. Or it's the same thing you could do on the uh, Bing Image Creator website itself. So just another way to do this within Paint. And then like I said, now you have the Layers options, which gives you some more flexibility, and the Background Remover option, which is really nice. And it does a really good job on uh, images with more simple backgrounds. And we actually did a video just on this itself if you want to check that out. So like I said, just keep an eye out for this Co-Creator button in Paint. And when it shows up, you'll have to be signed into your Microsoft account, so it'll deduct the credits. And then I guess if you have a different Microsoft account, you could sign into the computer with that account and get more credits and then take it from there. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.
Thank <laughs> you.